democratic tolerant and open minded the idea of india is changing no single image can possibly capture the many energies angers and hopes of a billion people today while the riches of freedom have touched the lives of many millions are still waiting there is unrest in kashmir uttar pradesh and virtually the whole of the northeast down south in telangana and in vidarbha there is demand for a separate state people want a landmass of their own and become the masters of their destinies శబ్దాన్ని తుపాకి గుళ్ళతో కాల్చేయలేవు శబ్దం శబ్దమే ఈ శబ్దం పేదుల శబ్దం ఇది ఆకలి శబ్దం ఇది అనగారిన శబ్దం ఇది గుడిసెల్లో నుండి ఈ గుండెల్లో నుండి వస్తున్న శబ్దాన్ని ఈ శబ్దాన్ని నువ్వు కాల్చేయలేవు ఈ శబ్దం శక్తిగా మారుతుంది ఆ శక్తి మహోన్నత శక్తిగా అయిపోతుంది ఈ అనగారిన ప్రజలు ఈ ఆకలి బతుకులు ఈ కష్ట జీవులు ఈ మట్టి సేతులన్నీ ఒక మాత్రమైన శబ్దమై ప్రళయం అవుతుంది ప్రజల ఉద్యమం అవుతుంది అదిగో చూడు మొత్తం తెలంగాణంతా గుడిసెల్లో నుండి పల్లెల్లో నుండి గంగమ్మ నుండి కృష్ణమ్మ నుండి గలగలాలు ఆడుతూ ప్రజలంతా వస్తున్నారు years after independence the political economic and cultural aspirations of the people were a major concern for india's unity when the states were reorganized it was hoped that these desires could be met through linguistic groupings the first ever linguistic state andhra pradesh was created in 1956 by merging the telugu speaking regions of madras presidency with telangana a part of the dominion of hyderabad and soon boundaries were mapped across the nation along similar affinities telangana from the very beginning was again such an alliance it was a distinct region with its own predominant history culture and dialect ruled for generations by a feudal regime it was impoverished and its people the victims of oppression and exploitation For Telangana this was a union of unequals where it feared a domination by its elite partners This state was formed contrary to a categorical recommendation made by the states reorganization commission and that recommendation was to treat Telangana as a separate state even the prime minister of the time jawaharlal nehru also was not in favor of merging telangana with the andhra state at some stage he ridiculed the proposal for vishal andhra 
as a proposition which had the tint of expansionist imperialism. The fact is that the people of this region were against joining Andhra Pradesh. The State's Reorganization Commission categorically recommended separate statehood for Telangana. Even the Prime Minister of the time was not in favor of the formation of Andhra Pradesh. Yet, this state was formed because of political manipulations. The economic reality has indeed changed for many in the new setup. But knowing this cannot satisfy those who have been waiting for 50 long years for land reforms, for water, for electricity, for education and work, the basic minimums of life. Most of Telangana still lives in its villages. Those that have little access to its vast land, water resources and the fruits of the soil. Home to 40% of the Telugu population, Telangana contributes almost half of the state's income, but only one-third is spent on its own development. Telangana la Rajala Bhatkul Sadar Nanga Bhumi resources with an equa other parent. Alak Yaviru the Galana Bhumi resources all a contane Gane Abrida Samasana Led. I te land reforms are a conto meroku adi chayochu. Kane land reforms gane, boomi gani resources gane, prajalaku, gata yaba yanalchi, durangane on tosani. I te Telangana Ivi Kawala and Japesi and the Pratna Jeshnani. Chala Rakala Darki Adankulosani. Land is the Evora and Anna Abdi Escolter, Telangana Jutta Vora Bau Esco, Kalutor. Kani, land this called Anki, Chala Rakama and Shiktulu Adamosani. Danki Prabutwala, Inca Partila, with the Rajaki Partila, Palagorgala Rajaki Man at twenty, Walaku willingness, Lil. I wonte, Nijangane, Telangana, Chalamandiki, land Gani, resources Gani. People here continue to wage battles for control over land and water, the life giving resources. Krishna and Godavari, the two major rivers, traverse through Telangana. Yet, this region is on the verge of becoming a desert. I 
మా తాతల నాడు బావి పోయినాం ఆ బావి ఎండిపోయింది నాలుగు బోర్లు వేసిన ఆ బోర్లు కూడా ఎండిపోయినాయి ఒక బోర్ కొద్దిగా శిక్షత అయింది అది కరెంటు పాపం వల్ల ఓ నాడు వస్తుంది ఓ నాడు రాదు ఆ ఉన్నది ఎండిపోయింది ఆయన పత్తి పెట్టిన పత్తి పోయింది నాకు ఇద్దరు కొడుకులు ఇద్దరు కొడుకులు పోయి పట్టణంలో చేరిరు ఆమె ఇద్దరు ముసలోళ్ళం ఇద్దరు ఆడవిల్లలు పెళ్ళిళ్ళకు ఉండరు మా పరిస్థితి అందో కలంగా ఉంది అరవై డెబ్బై వేలు అప్పు అయింది అప్పు గురించి అసాములు గుంజుతుండ్రు గుంజుతుంటే అయ్యో భగవంత ఎట్లా బతుకం ఏం చేయమన్న లవలవ నోరు కొట్టుకునే ఉంది కానీ ఇంకా ఏం పాపం లేదు one should remember that the merger of telangana with the state of andhra was not unconditional it was assured of many safeguards the first assurance was given in the form of gentlemen's agreement which formed the basis for merger of telangana with andhra but the gentlemen's agreement was violated on the very first day of formation of andhra pradesh and by the very same gentlemen who were signatories to the so called gentlemen's agreement as a result the people of telangana revolted during 1968-69 which is recorded in the history as jai telangana movement then the government woke up and they foisted another formula which was known as all party accord but that accord was dumped into the dustbin within 3 months after it was signed then the prime minister of the time indira gandhi came forward with another formula known as 8 point formula it didn't satisfy the people of telangana she suggested another formula known as 5 point formula at that time the supreme court of the country also gave a judgment which went in favor of people of telangana with regard to recruitment of local candidates in this region but none of these formulae and none of these agreements worked on the contrary there was a demand from the elite of andhra region that they want to have separate andhra state if safeguards are given to telangana as a result the government of india and the leaders of state of that time foisted another formula on the people of this region which is known as six point formula even that formula has not worked neglect of traditional water sources delays in implementing irrigation projects denial and diversion of river waters all of these are pushing people into abandoning their lands and homes in search of a living elsewhere అయితే ఇక్కడ అన్ని ఫ్యాక్టరీలు వేసారు మా భూములు తీసుకొని ఫ్యాక్టరీలు వేసారు వేసి మాకు చిన్న ఏ చిన్న ఉద్యోగం కూడా అలా ఇవ్వట్లేదు ఉన్న పక్కల కొద్ది కొద్దిగా భూమి ఉన్నది ఆ మిగిలిన భూములలో కూడా బో బోర్ వేసుకొని పంటలు తీసుకుందామంటే మొత్తం కెమికల్ వచ్చేస్తుంది అక్కడ కూడా అయితే మళ్ళీ ఆ కెమికల్ వాటర్ ద్వారా మాకు తాగడానికి నీళ్ళు దొరకట్లేదు ఇక్కడ చాలా బాధలు ఉన్నాయి నీళ్ళ గురించి నీళ్ళదే ఎక్కువ బాధలు ఉన్నాయి ఈ నీళ్లను పరిచయ చేసే వాళ్ళు కావాలి మాకు ఇక నన్ను ఓదామన్నాం కానీ మాకు ఏ ఆధారం కూడా లేదు ఇక్కడ నీళ్ళ గురించి ఇక నిన్ను అలా బోర్ నీళ్ళు కూడా తెచ్చుకొని తాగుతున్నాం నొప్పులు చేయబట్టి అవి కూడా మంచివే కావంటుండ్రు బోర్ నీళ్ళు కూడా కాల నొప్పులు అయితే ఎక్కువ ఉన్నాయి Telangana villages are indeed a site of neglect today where even safe drinking water is a pipe dream for many See, 
what was the purpose of these agreements with the 56 gentleman agreement of gentleman's agreement of 1956 or all party agreement of 1969 or 8 point formula or 5 point formula or 6 point formula what was the objective it was threefold number 1 to ensure a rapid development of the region number 2 to ensure a meaningful participation in the political process number 3 to safeguard and protect the linguistic and cultural identity of this region and these agreements were not just scraps of paper constitution of the country was amended president of india was given special powers committees were constituted under the chairmanship of chairmanship of prime minister nothing has worked While land reforms can blunt the sharp edges of rural poverty, improvements in irrigation facilities and power supply, increased employment opportunities, better health care and education can all extend a life of dignity to many. In the politics of exaction and domination, the poor and the powerless are always the victims. This is a failing of the basic human nature, of greed and thirst for power. A better educated, more developed area certainly the tendency to dominate will be there. And that is how there was an outburst in 1969 and later on in 1972 when Andhra wanted to get separated. It was not Telangana in 72, it was Andhra which wanted to separate because they, they, they wanted no part of their prosperity to go to Telangana. Uh, particularly it's sort, sort of a reaction to this. Now, a lot of political maneuvering is behind this. Now, what uh, triggered off, there was a genuine grievance in 69 uh, and uh, there was an outburst and then there was a counter blast in Andhra and then we evolved the people of Andhra Pradesh, their representatives and the government of India, they have evolved a, a formula, six-point formula, and which took care of the services uh, and ensured equal opportunities to the development of all the regions and equal opportunities to the people both in education and employment. Promises, commissions and agreements don't heal the wounds of a people. Broken battered and betrayed. They are letting out their frustrations in all its vindictive fury, at times even violently. Ikara Manshiki Kaval Sinar and Putala Tindile Chetininda Panle Tama Pilele Chadule Batkanikle Yepreite Pradalu Yem Taya Yanya Manadu Tunte Anya and Edrinchinavalni Tupaklato Kalchestuna Mara Vaipu O to Permida Democracy Permida China twenty Anni Partilu Congress Aite Teludes Mete Vij Paitemi Wadu Votlani Sampanchkoni Votlo Padigeta Prajas Samyam Permidane Prajas Sam Led Ikada minimum democracy. There is no minimum democracy. Ikara Norundi Martadu. Kanlundi Chudavadu, 
చెవులుండి వినవద్దు మంచి మాట్లాడవద్దు పేదవాని పక్షం వహించద్దు అందుకే ఈ మొత్తం తెలంగాణలో ఈరోజు తిరుగుబాటు చేస్తున్నారు అన్న పాము పుట్టలో ఉంటే మేము పాలు పోసి మొక్కుతాం పాము మా ఇంటికి వస్తే నాగన్న ఎల్లిపొమ్మంటాం పా పాము మా ఇంట్లోకి మా గుడిసెలోకి వస్తే ఎలగొడతాం పాము మా పిల్లల పసిపాపల తొట్టలోకి వస్తే ఏం చేయాలి ఫర్ మెనీ హియర్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఈజ్ నాట్ whether telangana can survive but whether the rest of the state can survive without telangana without its resources there will be aberrations for example there might have been some violations of six point formula now if there are violations the governments are always ready to set them right i mean things have not gone to such an extent where there were major why it just cannot happen because you have a constitution you have a supreme court you have the tribunals to protect take care of this so whatever aberrations are there they are not such as to warrant uh, separating the state on this ground the people of telangana are in fact victims of broken promises promises made umpteen times and promises broken umpteen times even the promises made during the regime of stalwarts like pandit jawaharlal nehru and indira gandhi also were not honored so therefore they don't have any confidence in the present generation political leadership at the state level and at the national level with regard to fulfillment of promises even if they make because of this bitter experience the people of this region very earnestly feel that their problems can be solved only in a separate state that is if they have political power to govern themselves and shape their destinies The campaigns for separate states are not just based on the passions of region, religion, caste and community alone. At stake are much deeper issues of socio-economic unevenness and political alienation. These are also the symptoms of a deeper malaise. They raise doubts about our entire political system that allows such domination and discrimination. Nelamma 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 niku vela vela vandana lamma Nelamma 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 sale divana ke tullinta సాలేతి వానకే తుళ్ళింత ఇంకా సాలు సాలుకు నువ్వు బాలెంత సాలేతి వానకే తుళ్ళింత ఇంకా సాలు సాలుకు నువ్వు బాలెంత మా తల్లి నీ మట్టి బంగారం మా తల్లి నీ మట్టి బంగారం అది మాన వాళ్ళకి నుదుట సింధూరం అమ్మని అనురాగము కమ్మని సమభాగము అమ్మని అనురాగము కమ్మని సమభాగము గొప్పలు తప్పులు చూడక నువ్వు ఎప్పుడు మమ్మేడ బాయక గొప్పలు తప్పులు చూడక నీవు ఎప్పుడు మమ్మేడ బాయక నేలమ్మ 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 నీకు వేల వేల వందనాలమ్మ నేలమ్మ 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 More than ever, the issue now is the very credibility of our democracy. Who owns this land? Who owns its rivers, its forests and its resources? The 
the making of our nation is still not over demands for viable smaller and more manageable states are still being raised Uttaranchal, Chhattisgarh and Jharkhand are born out of this idea. We do not know whether there will be a separate Telangana, a Vidarbha or a Bodo land. But these are struggles for a just and even share in the power and wealth of the nation. These are also part of a new hope. and a new beginning for many millions a part of india's growth and evolution and its journey on discovering the self again Thank mm-hmm. you.